Confidence comes through competence. It comes through um, doing things over and over. It comes through clarity, understanding what you're doing and believing in yourself, believing that you have what it takes. And you have what it takes. You are designed for success. You're not designed to fail, right? The next one is set goals to win. You cannot hit a target that you don't see. And it's good to set the goals in writing. Let me um, do this quickly. Uh, I think it was 1979, uh, the Harvard School of Business did a, a, a little survey. They interviewed the graduates from the business school. 84% of them had no goals. 13% had goals, but they were not in writing. 3% had goals in writing with definite plans to uh, achieve them. 10 years later, they interviewed them. And the results were astounding. The 13% that had goals but they weren't written, they were earning twice as much as the 97%. The 3% that had goals in writing with plans to achieve them were earning 10 times more than all the rest. I think I'm so The 30% was earning twice as much as the 84%, right? And then the 3% was earning 10 times more. So when you set goals, what you want to be, do, or have in, 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 in the future, it does work. It is it, it, because there's a reticular activating system in your brain that works like a missile going after a target. Once you compute the things, it starts going after it. And so that is why, for example, when you say you're going to buy a particular car model, all of a sudden when you go on the road, everywhere you look, you're seeing it. That's what is happening. And, and then you start seeing possibilities. So I want to encourage you to set goals in writing. Then you have to win with faith. It is my faith that has caused me to stand in the midst of storms. When my engagement for the second time fell through and I felt, you know, that there was no other reason to live. It was my faith that kept me. It is through prayer and a belief in God that I'm able to stand when things um, don't go right. I mean, so many things have gone wrong this evening, but as I prayed and, you know, this is a vision God has given me and, and I pray, I get a sense of peace that I can go through and I'm delivering and not falling apart. It is that faith in God knowing that he who began the good work will finish it. And studies show that people of faith are more resilient. It is, it's not just a Christian faith, but people of faith respond better to trials. And it's scripture says, anyone in trouble, let them pray. You heard it. The couples that are going for the days of prayer, when they have tough marriages, it turn around. Is anyone in trouble? Let them pray. My faith has kept me alive, given me reason to live. I know I'm happy. I'm going after my dreams and, and goals. And uh, it's also faith in believing when you don't see anything that this is going to work and you keep going after it. And then you have to ask to win. You're here because I asked you to come. You married your wife or your host uh, because you proposed. You asked. The person said yes. You're here because I asked you to come. Think of how many things do you have because you asked. And fear of not asking very often keeps us from re 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 receiving. Finding is reserved for the seekers, but receiving is reserved for the askers. And it's something we have to work on. Keep asking. Kirk is here because I asked him to be here. All right? We have this auditorium because to you because I asked. And you have to practice asking and keep asking even when they say no. Because when you don't ask, there's a 100% there's a chance that you're not going to get through. But if you ask, there's a 50% chance that you will get through. So I've learned to ask. Even if I'm shaking in my boots, ask. Because whatever I have to lose, before I asked, I didn't have it. If I ask and I say no, I still don't have it. But if I ask, there's a possibility that I might receive. And the next one is to act consistently. It's not good enough just to write down the goals and the things. You have to take action. As much as I see the vision in the cloth, 
I could keep doing this for another 20 years and do nothing with it. You not only have to make the design, you have to go ahead. I mean, see the design, you have to go ahead and make it, act on it. You have to act to win. And the final one, if we had more time, was to show you how to think to win. And so I'm just going to give you the exercise to go home and do it. It's a problem solving exercise. Whenever you have a problem, I want you to practice the 20 idea method. Whatever the issue is that you're struggling in, whatever the area, just sit for maybe half an hour to an hour and turn it into a whole question. So right now I need a million dollars for a particular project. I'm not joking, but let me break it down now. For my trip to Africa, I need, I need at least 2,000 US right now. <laughs> Tell me not paying fair. So what I would do is, how, turn it into a whole question, how can I get 2,000 US dollars by X date? And I just start writing on all the ideas that come to me. The first five will be easy, the second five will be a little bit harder, up to about 15. By about 15 to 20, it gets a little bit easier. Don't eliminate anything. And then you select the two best ideas, and then you act on one, and then you move to the other. And you'll find that it works. You can do it by yourself, or you can do it with others. And it works every single time. So I want you to practice the thing to win and to think long term. We're out of time, but if you want to hear more, you have to come to some of my seminars. And if you learned anything or enjoyed that, please put your hands together. <laughs> Yes, we have some evaluation forms that we want you to fill out. And um, we're going to close it. I really want to thank you for coming and taking the time to invest in yourself. And um, they're on the table. We're going to come with those. And Stephanie's going to close out with a song. And um, I really thank you for coming. And uh, I know that tonight you heard something that will transform your life. All right, so we're getting the audio ready, and then we close up. We're going to give you some evaluation forms, quick evaluation forms. Um, this will help us to plan better next